So good news, Jedi arm technology is real and it's here thanks to the University of Pittsburgh. They've created a prosthetic arm and it's the most sophisticated mind controlled prosthesis ever created. They hooked it up to this woman, she's paralyzed from the neck down and she was able to eat a chocolate bar using only the power of her mind, which is my dream. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, uh, when you actually get into the technical details of this, it's pretty interesting. It says that they implanted two micro electrodes, each packed with a hundred tiny little needles that can read electrical impulses coming from individual cells in her brain. Um, it probably is not as scary as it sounds. The idea of putting something bristling with 200 needles in my brain sounds like if I shake my head or something, I might forget how to do arithmetic or something. But it seems to be working for her. And I'm excited because we love tech developments, obviously. When they come out with a new tablet or something like that, it's very exciting. But this is obviously a little bit more significant. And for all the people who are suffering from some sort of paralysis, this could obviously be useful. Not even paralysis necessarily. People lose a limb or something. Certainly have a lot of those people coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq. This well, could be useful technology. I think that was mainly why this was developed for people coming back from Iraq, missing mm -hmm. arms. And I don't think this robotic arm is truly just connected to her body yet. So uh -huh. they're still working on it to make it so that's more autonomous. But it's a really big step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, if this is the same system that I saw previewed like six months ago, it's a t an entirely different robot arm, but it can pick up things. Like I think it was at that point it was picking up a coffee cup or something. And it was impressive even back then. And apparently she was able to learn to control it in just 13 weeks, which is faster than they expected it would, would be. It sounds like a long time, but it also is incredibly complicated. Now, uh, I know that they're, they're obviously pitching this, at least on the blogs, like on the Mary Sue, as like being like Jedi like technology like Luke had. Now, if you are a fan of Star Wars, you know from the lore that as you get more and more cybernetic attachments, it actually increases the likelihood that you will fall to the dark side of the Force. We should keep an eye on her, just okay. in case.